Hi, so here we have the um, AY3 8910, which is a retro um, programmable sound generator. Uh, it was developed in the early 1970s and used in many, many computers and arcade game uh, computers. So let me put that in the design in the TBAY3 and um, let's switch it on. Uh, I'm using the USB connector on here, which is both the power supply and you can use that to um, uh, do any of your own programming because that is actually a direct connection to the Arduino that sits inside the Arduino Nano. So let me switch that on. There we go. Um, so a little bit about the device itself. Uh, the uh, AY3 8910 sits uh, on top. It's just a nice visual. Um, it's a, as a, you know, as it said, it's a it's a retro chip sound generator, and it's just it just looks cool to have it uh, in inside uh, visible. So we have a MIDI in, a MIDI through. Uh, that's the whole point actually of the box. The box is really designed to work um, together with. Uh, in my case, uh, the Electron Digitect. It's really just to get some additional sounds, but really some genuine 8-bit sounds in there. Um, right, so when you switch it on, it has five patches that you can choose with this knob. I'll just put it a bit closer with that one. Um, so one to five presets and the other dial here, the parameter select, allows you to make changes to each of these patches. And this bigger dial, which is an encoder, allows you to check out the sounds and to make changes to these uh, parameters. So uh, there's an LED for the uh, power itself, and there's another LED which uh, lights up uh, whenever there's MIDI coming in and when you make changes, value changes to the, uh, the parameters that you select. Um, of course, there's an output on there. It's a mono output and the volume on there as well. Oh, another thing that is actually quite important for this uh, little box, because there's no display on it. And there are quite a few settings that you can change. Now, if you look here, uh, probably difficult to see on the camera, but definitely have a look on uh, Instructables, where you can find all the uh, layouts and all the, the, the labels that need to go on the box. Um, here we can see, for example, the different types of uh, envelopes that we have, and uh, that uh, applies to one of the settings here. And there's another setting on here, which is the mix mode, which allows you to either use uh, voice A, voice B, or voice C, or a combination of them and then you might want to include noise as well. So enough talking about uh, the, the box itself and how, we, how it works. I'll just have a, a quick listen, listen what it does. I've selected the first patch and if I push the uh, encoder, I can hear that first patch and that is supposed to be a bass drum. We're going to the next one, which is a, a snare drum. Um, and then we got close Hyatt and we got open Hyatt let me see yeah close Hyatt open Hyatt and patch number five is a is just a sound that you can make uh, make all sorts of changes to it's got three more sounds uh, on board which you can't select and which you can't change which are just hard coded but hey you know you've got the code on Instructable so you can change those. Um, in order to listen to those, you need to hook the device up to uh, a MIDI uh, device, so in this case, the Electron Digitect. Uh, the, by default, the TB8Y3 listens to MIDI channel three. And those last three sounds, I put them under pad 14, 15, and 16, so 14. If I press that, so let me do that. It, it changes, it's a random sound. Or 
random frequency 15 and 16. That's all again that's a random bit of noise. <clears throat> So again, it listens to MIDI and all of the first five, I put them under 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and uh, yeah, 9 to 13. 9 is the bass, snare, closed hi-hat, open hi-hat, and then the additional sounds that we have in there. Well, uh, let's see what it sounds like when you've programmed a drum pattern. I've already put one in there, so if I press play, here the bass drum in this case. Uh, now I can add the snare. Close higher. Open higher. The fifth patch sits on the 13 and we add the others as well. Now suppose you want to make a change, let's pick that patch 15, this one. Let's make a change to the, the, the noise frequency for example. So select noise frequency. Make it a bit lower. Now there's also a voice in there somewhere. Uh, let's see. I can change that as well. I'm not sure how many voices we've used for that one. I've only used a voice A, uh, a for that. Okay, so we have set that now, but let's change the release. I can make it very long. Or very short. Okay, let's play it again. Now I can change the envelope type as well for that patch 5 that we have just selected. Let's make the release a bit longer. Or not so much the release now, but there's sort of an attack on this one now. Let me switch off some of the other sounds. So that's a, an envelope that is the opposite of the other envelope that I just had. Let's go back to the old one. Let me pick a different mix mixer mode for that patch five. Now, in this case, patch five is just a voice. Right, um, so again, the, the, the box is really designed to make all sorts of changes to the, the, the presets that are in there, make complete changes that it's no longer the actual preset. You can't save it, right? So when you switch it off and switch it on again, you'll have the original patches back. But again, if you want to have it completely different, then you can hard uh, code that in there. 
So what I have done, I've already programmed another drum pattern, which is actually coming directly from the Digitech itself. Uh, and this is the whole idea that you use the, 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 the TBAY3 in, in conjunction with another piece of kit. So if I let that run uh, now, then it sounds like this. I'm going to make some changes to the other sounds in there. So uh, yeah, again, it's it's playing with it and see what uh, what comes out of it. And once you're happy with the sound, then you start combining it, of course, with with the other kit that you might have, and uh, you might have something like this. So an example of what you can do with the TBAY3 in combination with some of uh, your other kit. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, have a listen to two more videos that I made some time ago, again with the TBAY3 in combination with some of the, uh, the other kit that I have. Um, hopefully you will enjoy it. See you soon. Thanks.